everybody, it's Laurie the Silhouette Teacher. Today's Teachable Tip Tuesday video is going to be on what happens when you have a folder in your library and it mysteriously disappears. How do I find it? So we're going to start here in the Design Studio. We're going to go to Library. And you see I have all of my items here in folders. These folders are not made automatically. You get to choose how you want to make them. So what you decide for a folder, what I decide for a folder might be different. And if you're interested in learning how to make folders, there's another Teachable Tip Tuesday video on that. So this is the recent downloads. These are things that I have purchased from the design store recently. And you see that I can put them in a folder. Like I can take these two right here. They happen to be ferns or leaves or something like that, plants, whatever you want to name that. And I'm going to come up here to the top. And I have flowers, ferns, and plants. So I'm going to put that in my flowers, ferns, and plants. So I'm going to click on these two by holding down my command key on my Mac and clicking at the same time with my mouse. But if you have a PC, you would hold down your control key and click with your mouse at the same time. And then I'm going to drag these down into this folder, flowers, ferns, and plants. Now you see I have two different folders. This is the one right here that is empty and I'm not sure why sometimes they open back up and have more than one so I'm going to just actually just delete this folder and then right here you see this too I've got flourishes and swirls and flourishes and swirls so this one has six and this one has 14 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the same folder so I'm going to say the one that has six, I'm going to say select all, which would be command A if you have a Mac or control A if you have a PC. So I'm selecting those. And then I'm going to move those into the flourishes and swirls and then just delete this folder too. Okay, so I do want to show you though what would happen if you're missing a folder. Let's say that I'm busy moving all these folders around and accidentally I move the flowers and ferns folder into the food folder. Okay, and I'm getting ready and I say, oh my gosh, I can't find my flowers and fern folder. Wonder where that would be. I'd look for a folder that was close to that alphabetically and I would say, okay, let's see, is it in fashion and clothing? No, I don't see an extra folder there. Flourishes and swirls. No, I don't see an extra folder there. Food, oh, there it is, flowers and ferns and plants. Now, how do I get this folder out of my food folder? So I'm gonna go all the way to the top to where it says designs, and I'm going to click on the flowers and ferns and plants folder, move that over to designs, let go, and you'll look down here again, and now there it is. It's right where it's supposed to be. And you see, I've also got like three in the food and nine in this one. So I could do the very same thing again by clicking on these. And I want to show you a couple things you can do. You can either say select all, or you can hold down your shift key and click on each item. And now you can drag those to the food folder right here. And this one's empty, so I'm just going to say delete. So that's a little bit about how to find a folder if it disappears and also how you can put folders together to make one folder. Hope this helps you to be more organized in finding your files and your folders, and it adds another tool to your crafting toolbox. It was great cutting up with you. See you next time.